Hello. So after six months into coin collecting, I started six months ago. I have gathered a lot of coins. I haven't spent much money, but I got a lot of good deals and beginner's luck and coin roll hunting and stuff. So now I'm going to show you everything I've got since that six months. Okay. So I have a whole box of Canadian pennies. By the way, I live in Canada, so coin roll hunting is... I have more Canadian coins. Uh, I got a box, 2,500 pennies that are 98% copper. They're all Canadian from 1952 to 1975. Uh, then I got one of these. Uh, this is a, f a whole roll of the bird. Uh, design, 1967 design. Um, then for American pennies, I got not uh, not many, but I got that much. Not much, but uh, 450 copper pennies. Uh, wheat cents, I have 206. Some in capsules, one, uh, some in like that. Some those were made from 1909 to 1958. Uh, and then I have, back to Canadian pennies, this is, uh, 1937 to 1952, this is King George the Sixth. I got 132 of those. This is all from the bank, by the way. All from the bank. Coin roll hunting. That too, uh, this is a 19, a uh, bunch of 1959. Uh, that's the first year of the, of the memorial sense okay now to u.s coins back to more u.s coins um these are just some old damaged bad condition old pennies 1800 and uh then we got this uh special dollar u.s dollar nothing interesting uh then i got this 1851 uh penny it yeah, this penny it has a big hole in it though. I found this 1867 uh, shield nickel. Condition's bad though, so it's it's considered good too, which is really low grade. Uh, then I have an 1883 Indian hat cent. Then I have a 1901 Indian hat cent. These aren't bad. Eight, uh, 1902, 1903, and the 1907. Okay, so then for my pennies, for my wheat cents that I have in the binder, the Unisafe United States cents, 1909-1959. I'm missing the, all the key dates. I don't have those. I didn't get those yet. But I'm only six months into coin collecting, so this is actually pretty impressive. To have this much already without buying much. This is all from banks, basically. Uh, a lot of coin roll hunting. This is not included in the uh, 206 Indian uh, wheat cents that I have over there. That I already showed you. So I got those. Um, then I have this these low mintage 1966-67. to 67. Nickels, uh, they are pretty, they, they didn't make as many as most states, so I kept those. Um, okay, so more more nickels, uh, 1918 Buffalo Nickel, uh, this one is in good condition. Then I have a 1913, this is also pretty good condition. And this one is really nice, this is... I got these at a coin store, but he gave me them for 25 cents each, so that's pretty good. 1919 Buffalo Nickel. EF40 is what I graded it. I mean, very nice condition. <clears throat> then I have the states that I got from the bank, too. Quarters. These are quarters that have all the states on them. I have 22 of the states. Uh, back to... Nickels again, sorry for being all over the place, but it's kind of hard to do it in order. So I have an 1899, then 1903. These are not very good condition. 
1904, and then two more here. Just they don't. I don't really like them, but you know it's not bad. So, okay, so we have a 1960, 1981 to 1981. These are all extremely fine to uncirculated. These are more modern. These are the older ones. Like, for example, this 1980. This is a roll. This is. So this is like. I don't know, like 50 something. Here. Uh, so I think that's almost done with the pennies, except these pennies. I also have a. These are the special ones that they made uh, in 2011, I think, 2000, no, 2009, sorry. Okay, so then we also have these extremely nice, yeah, uh, this is a 64, why is it not focusing? Okay. 64, 65, 65, these are really nice, I like them, good condition. Then we have some more buffalo nickels here, 10 more, that have, some of them you can't even see the date, so they're not worth much, but, I don't know, most of them are pretty good. Uh, then I have 1946 to 1964, uh, I have 35 of these nickels. To be, to find all this in Canada, it's, it's, it's a pretty good. Then I have this, I found this quarter. 1776 to 1976. It's worth worth 25 cents, but I don't know. I like it. Then we have a special edition, some special edition USA nickels, and some special edition USA quarters. These are some. Oh well, there's a. Why is that? I don't know. Why is that in there? Oh, these are no. These are partially quarters. Some of them are quarters. Some of them are nickels. It doesn't matter. Just a bunch of special edition. Okay, am I done with that? Yes, I am. Okay, now now to Canadian. Uh, no, now to yes, now to Canadian. So we have this is all Canadian stuff now. Uh, this is legendary nature uh, stuff. I found this in change. This is the album. Nice little text and stuff about the Canadian wild boreal forest. I have all the coins, the nicest ones I picked out from the banks that I found, I picked out the nicest ones, then I have a bunch more, I have 20 more of these uh, quarters that go in there, but I got the nicest ones in there. Uh, I have three more of the toonies, special edition toonies, and two of the dollars, and then, okay, so then I got this 1859 Canadian large scent. Oh, you can't even see it. Okay. Yeah, the lighting is pretty bad. Anyways. And it's bad. 1859. Then we got a 1932 Canadian uh, nickel. I like the design on those. We got an, some. This is just a special token. 1927. Uh, we got two, two uh, 64 and a 65 proof cents that I got from the bank too. Then we have this 1991 specimen strike. I got this from one of my friends. 1968. Uh, this is also this is like uncirculated condition. Very nice condition. There's the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II on the back. This is a proof double dollar, uh, no. This is a proof double dollar set from a doll, uh, which is, it's from a set, but I got it like this. Very nice condition. Well, it's proof. And then we have uh, some old pennies, 1934. This is all King George V. Nine, uh, King George V was, I don't remember that, anyways, 1935, 36, and then a 33, but these are the good ones, they, these are 1930, that's a low mintage, they didn't make that many, 1930, 
Um, and then another one. I have two of those. Another nickel from 1924. Then we have this other King George. This is bad condition. I got this from a box that had a lot of King George the Fifth in it. Uh, sixth, oh, sorry. And one King George the Fifth penny, which was really good. It was a whole box that had like over 40 King George the Sixth pennies. Okay, on to nickel dollars. These are not silver, they are nickel. Silver mint. I mean, they stopped making silver coins in 1968. This is a 1970 uh, specimen strike. It's very nice. Uh, I got it, all this for face value from a guy. $1 Canadian, 1978. This is also very nice condition. 1984. They made low, uh, that's a low mintage again. Didn't make very few, I mean, very many. In 1982, this is not so good condition, but it's a constitution. I actually found this on the ground beside, a, like, beside my school. Then I found, I got these two. This is like a proof. It looks like it's a proof. 82. And another 82. No, this is, sorry, this is 84. Commemorative. Then we have 1975, and then that commemorative that I, that I have over there. I think it's commemorating Jacques Cartier. Uh, 1982. These are just random that I got from the bank and stuff. Okay, so then on to modern stuff. I got all this for face value. 2008. These are the guy at the coin store. Gave them to me for face value, but he says these are MS-63. The condition, which is really good. Lucky Looney. I think I have eight of these. Yes, eight. And then this is the War of 1812, commemorative 2012 uh, uh, toonie. I have another one here. Then... Four more commemorative dollars. This is just a new one, actually. Uh, so three more. This is Quebec. Okay, so then after that, I got... These are the Special War of 1812 quarters. Uh, this is all modern stuff. Uh, 2010 Olympics. I got 25 of those Olympic coins from the bank. I got these 12-sided. Nickels from the bank too. I got 25 of those. King George the sixth and Queen Elizabeth, her first portrait. Her first portrait. Uh, that's not bad for. I just started nickels actually. With nickels at the bank, I got 41 of these just random commemorative Canadian quarters. They're like all kinds of different commemorative stuff. Okay, so then I have the dollars. I have 14 commemorative dollars. Another Lucky Looney that I have over there, except this is basically in condition. Those are, I mean. And then, so I got, this is just the Olympics and a bunch of different, this is actually low vintage, that too. Um, well, it's not very low. It's kind of low. Then I have the... Vancouver 2010 Olympics. Uh, another one of those Lucky Loonies. Olympic set. I have the full set. Uh, there you go. Then I have the three rolls from the, from the Royal Canadian Mint. This is the last year they make the... That they make the pennies. Actually, it was last year now. So I got three rolls. They have never been touched. Well, those in there haven't. Then I have a 2012... Uh, just a bunch of nickels. I, I don't know. Maybe it's worth more later. Um, then I have a 1999 
roll also from the mint. And then I have some, these are just some really nice condition, older Canadian pennies. Uh, two of those, actually I have another one in there, and this is a 2011 pennies that I got from the bank. It's all, basically all uncirculated. Um, I got these two, this is just commemorating the victory of World War II. I have 100 of those, no, 80, and then more of the Isaac Brock, and these are eight, nine, uh, 1812 commemorative, 2012-1812 commemorative quarters from the Mint, and I forgot about these, these are just 1970-1991-1997 low mintage dimes. Okay, on to foreign stuff. These are foreign coins. This is Italia, which is Italy. <laughs> uh, 1855. Large cent. I think that's a cent, yeah. Another one. 1866. 1867. Can't really see it that well. And then 1893. Should probably get better lighting. And then some more Italian modern. These are modern coins. On to British pennies. I've got a lot of old British pennies in there. I've got a 1948 here. Nice design. I like that design. And then we have the same design back in 1886. Uh, this is all Great Britain. Uh, British stuff. 1890. These are our, our all cents. Large cents. One penny. 1896. 1901. 1904. It stayed the same. They didn't have any special stuff. that Not that I have. 1913. 1914. Uh, 1914 again. And again. And again. And then 1916. 1917, this is a really nice one, yeah, it says, what does it say on the back, George V, Brit, O, M, N, I don't know, 1917, 1917 again, and, and then 1920, and then this is a 1921, and I have a 1967, and even in 67 they had the exact same design as they did in 1886. This is Queen Elizabeth again. Nice portrait. And then this is the oldest coin I own at the moment. Uh, 1696, uh, half pound I guess, half pound Great Britain coin from, yeah, 1696. Can we see the date? But yeah, it's it's legit. It's from the coin store. I got it for ten dollars, so I just wanted to get it because it's old. They had it for fifteen, but they gave me a little deal, which was nice of them. I think that's King William. I don't know the third or something. Okay, more foreign coins now. These are all modern foreign coins. This is a bunch of British coins. Then I got Netherlands, uh, Cuba, Belgium, uh, Tseshka, what is that? Uh, I think that's Swedish? I don't know. Uh, this is Polish. And then France. This is Hungarian. A lot of Hungarian coins. I'm Hungarian, so that's what I got this from my parents, a uh, special issue. This is also Hungarian, uh, 50 foreign coins. This is Switzerland. They have nice coins, they have like flowers on them. Uh, nice design, 1949. This is, uh, 1949, this is, uh, German. German coins. 
before they took down the Berlin Wall, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is Slovakia, 19, Czechoslovakia, 1992. That country doesn't exist anymore. Uh, this is a strike, which is uh, Austria. A lot of Austrians co Austrian coins. A lot of it is not used anymore. A lot of this is not used anymore, but it's modern still. So this is more Spanish. I got Spanish coins. And this is all German. I got lots of German coins. Modern German coins in late 60s and 70s and on. And then I got this Austrian. I really like this. Uh, 1955 two cent Austrian coin. Queen Elizabeth on the back again. And I have a lot more foreign coins. This is basically all from the bank coin hunting that I've found. Not all of them, like this isn't from there because it's way too big. But most of it is. Then I got some foreign bills over here. Uh this is just I think this is yeah, Slovak. This is this is Polish money. They're not really old. It's more most Brazil modern money, but it's nice. Haiti. This is actually a. This is cool. This is a military currency. This is from I looked it up. This is from 1940, 43 or something. This is and the other one too. This is a Japanese American currency. I don't know. Uh, it's like military currency. Uh, then I have this. I don't know. This is just. I don't know what that is. Okay. Then I have some Spanish, and then behind that is British Caribbean territories money. And it's just all cramped together because I don't really look at them. They're just a bunch of foreign stuff. On to more bills. These are what I have in my portfolio. These are nice. This is a uh, Hungarian five foreigns from with old Hungarian on it and serial number written by hand. Uh, this is from 1848. This is during a revolution. Uh, and then a 30 Pengu, uh, uh, Kreutz as I don't It's also from, a, it's, this is from 1849. It has writing on it with the uh, Hungarian, Greek, I think German, Romanian, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, then this is modern, this is Hungarian too. This is just a uh, special edition uh, commemorating the re uh, the 50 years anniversary of the 1956 uh, revolution. This is also Hungarian money. This is not very old, not as old as it looks. This is like 80s. We just kept that design for a long time. This is onto Canadian stuff. Uh, I don't have any of the devil's face. Um, bills, but these are nice. Just a two dollar bill, a one dollar bill. This it does have a star. I got all this for face value. One dollar bill. So that was a good deal too. Another one dollar bill. This is a later one. This is, a, by the way, this is 54 edition. This is 19... I think it's 19... Uh, I don't know. 1978, I think. Uh, this is a 1954 $5 bill, then I have a really bad condition, 86 $5 bill, then I have an uncirculated uh, 2002 $5 bill, and then I have at the end, what we use now, an uncirculated $5 bill from 2004, yes, 2004 is actually, so we still use that though. Then these are $2 bills from 86, 1986. There, I have a lot of these. Nothing special. Just a bunch of $2 bills. I got for $2 at the bank. Uh, 
lady, the lady, whenever she has something special, she gives it to me, which is nice. Then I have this dollar, then this dollar, and this dollar. These are all in really nice condition. Oh, by the way, these are consecutive 19. See, the serial number is 90, 090, and 089. So this one came before, right after, so this one came right after that. And then this is cool because it's like 3,000, 30,000. <clears> then <throat> I have a $20 bill from 1937, Canadian. That's King George the, that's, that's King George the Sixth on there. I have a one dollar bill from 1937. This is also King George the Sixth, and then a 25 cent coin is uh, bill. This is cool. Dominion of Canada. This is 1923. 1923. A ten dollar bill from 1954. A two dollar bill from 19. 78 again, I think. 74, sorry, 74. And then another $2 bill that, I don't know, I got lost. <laughs> I don't know why it's back here. So, quickly, now I'm going to go on to my Canadian cents. So, this is also a Unisafe folder. I have a lot of dates. I actually also have, see that, that shows the mintage and see how... 1923 is a really low mintage compared to other ones. Only 1.091 1 million made. So 1 million 19,000. And I have the 1923. It is damaged, but still, it, I got it for, for free basically from, from this guy. He just, he was nice. Uh, then I got these since these are really nice condition 60s 64 65 and the bird that i was showing before centennial 67 68 and 70s and and so on i don't need to show you every single date i think you guys know how the dates go i don't have a 2006 uh no logo magnetic because that would be worth like 200 bucks um, <clears throat> I got the 2005 Magnetic, which is rare, and that's basically it for my pennies, and then for my, the thing came off, which is really crappy, because I only used it for like three months, uh, this is Canadian, Canadian, what is it called? So, Canadian five cents nickels. There we go. Well, I don't know. I forgot. 1922, 23, 24, and so on. Yeah. I like the design. 24. Uh, they made very few of the 1926. They only made, they only made 933,000, which is really low mintage. So I got, I got, I actually got a 1926. There it is, it's kind of upside down. Ah, I'm trying to get out of the way. Okay. So then, it keeps going. I have every date all the way. And then they changed the design in 1936. 37 changes the design to the beaver, which we all have today. The, that design is still present. 42. 42 Tom back. They needed a. They needed nickel for, like stuff in the war. So. Yeah, these are nickel bullion. Ninety nine point nine percent nickel, which is pretty cool. Nineteen forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven. Just keeps going. Uh. These are some nice ones. The fifty three. Yeah, we get into some nicer looking ones. Then it keeps going. Again, the 1970s are also a little mintage. They only made 5 million. Instead of the usual. For example, you click here, 24, 11, 8. 
and later in the 70s, they made like 8,937 and stuff like that. So, million. So, they made a lot of them. 1970 dollars a low mintage. <clears throat> Onto my 10 cent pieces. My dimes. So, I got a 19. I just started this like last week. 1929. Uh. Then a 1939, 1950, 19, what is it, 1955, and then a 1959. These are all silver up until 1968. Right there, it changed to 50% uh, silver. Oh, sorry, right there, it changed to 50% silver. And that, oh, by the way, that's the centennial. And after that, it changed to all nickel so that's kind of crappy they don't have silver anymore mm. so it's all just silver I mean it's all nickel nowadays everything is nickel nickel and steel and then for my off-center uh, no, I have this off-center penny that I found at the bank this came out of a roll full of wheat cents someone had a collection and they decided to take it to the bank for some reason 1977 off-center penny uh, I would say it's like 15% off center. It's pretty cool. Queen Elizabeth again on the back. And American uh, 1971 error date. If you look at the one closely, I don't know if you can see this. It might get tricky to see this. But the one on the 1971, yeah, the one is kind of smushed. I don't know how I noticed that. But it's not damaged, It's it, it was made like that. So it's kind of cool. And I think that's basically it for my collection for now. No, I forgot my silver, sorry. I forgot all my silver. I have to hurry, I'm running out of time. Okay, for silver, I found... I, mean, I didn't find these, I bought these. These are 99.99 fine silver, uh, ha a quarter of an ounce each. Uh, this is uh, 20 for 20 dollars uh, silver coins these are all really nice uh, this is the canoe one you turn it up like this you can see that it's the like a Native American uh, then this is the queen came after these three and then the polar bear I like the polar bear a lot it's one of my favorite you can see it all tells 99.9% silver, fine silver, $20. This is the commemorating, uh, like, the farewell to the penny, because we get, we're getting rid of the penny. So it's like the penny design falling into water. Then, then this came around Christmas. I don't really like this one, but, I mean, whatever, it's silver. Uh, then I have this one. I like this one. I don't really like hockey, but I like this design. Twenty dollars, fine silver. Uh, yeah, this one, this one is nice. It doesn't have any scratches or anything. Uh, then I have this fifty percent silver quarter I found at the bank. Looking through coins, corner hunting. All of this is from corner hunting. Eighty percent, uh, nineteen sixty two, and a nineteen. Uh, what is that? 1947. That's King George again, the sixth. Quarters. This is all Canadian. And then an American 1861. This I did not get from the bank. You would never find that. 1861. 90% silver. Yeah, Americans made 90% silver coins. Canadians only made 80% silver coins. So, whatever. <laughs> Um, so it would be better if I could coin or hunt in America. More silver. And it's easier to find it, because you can look at the side. Okay, so I got a Hungarian 50% uh, silver commemorative coin. 0.192 of an ounce. Uh, 2000, uh, 19, it's from 1992. Then I have a 1992.5% silver uh, Canadian... Uh, 
Yeah, that's a really nice one. Nineteen eleven. Five cents. Oh, sorry. There we go. Five cents. Nickel. And I have a thirty percent silver U.S. Uh, nickel. It's a war nickel because nickel was needed for. So they kind of put some silver in there. Um. That's basically my collection. So. I'm looking, I, I want to get a bullion, a one ounce silver coin. And so I'm now starting to want to get uh, silver stuff. So that's basically my coin collection so far. After six months, this is what I've got. We'll see what I have after a full year of coin collecting and hoarding copper and stuff and silver. Alright, see you when that happens. Bye.